Um, Privilege of the floor. Anybody wishing to address council, please go to the mic, give your name and address. Please remember the three minute rule. We'll start, yeah. Um, SG Gates, 157 Darcy Street. First of all, I'd like to thank, or to congratulate, me. congratulate our newest uh, mayor elect, uh, our first female mayor for Watertown. Uh, I see you are trying to find a place to hide up there already tonight, but it'll be okay. <laughs> um, like, at, before the election, there, there was a mayor debate, and at that debate, I had a lie told about me. I did not stand in the way of this dog park moving forward. The, the, the Thompson Park uh, uh, spot was picked out you know, by, by council, uh, like in 2019. Okay, wait a second. Um, you said, it was, why, why is it my choice over council? That council asked the people where they wanted the park, where they wanted the dog park, and they picked that spot. So I'm doing, I just happen to be, agree with them, and that, that's the spot for it. Gene Hayes said that's, that's the spot. Um, if I was to buy a piece of property from you, and then I got to the bank, and, and financing was for another piece of property, that wouldn't be my fault, would it? Um, but I was also attacked by hospice at the other debate. A woman came up and she was mad, mad that I was trying to put it there and it was going to disturb the patients. It is in no way, shape, or form going to disturb the patients. In fact, they will love it once they get used to having it there because they can visit and it, and it, it raises people's spirits. Um, so, I mean, basically you got three options here. It's like the, this current council can get the head out the butt and just pass the resolution for the lookout and we can move forward and we get this done. Or I will wait for like the next council, if there's three people that want to let me know immediately that they're going to support this, I'll let the next council pass the resolution. But before I leave for the fall, or for the winter, excuse me, <laughs> it is fall, um, I'm go I will have to, have to file a lawsuit if that's where it comes to. I, I talk to lawyers and I pretty much can get a pro bono lawyer so it's not, no skin off my butt if I uh, do or not, but I'd rather not sue the city. I'd just like to do something nice for the community. Um, we're not building until spring anyway, so uh, um, I planned on after Christmas doing a, uh, a commercial for the uh, MIA fund. You can, you can donate to MIA's fund right now uh, through New York, New, the New York Community Foundation, and we will collect it. We will build a dog park this spring, whether it's the lookout or whether it's a piece of property I buy. Um, uh, now the the other thing I have to go through I, this this is tough for me. Um, New York State uh, passed a survivor's law as of last January, and it's for sexual abuse pe uh, people who are sexually abused. They can come forward and they can press charges. And if they were a minor at the time, they do not have to uh, let their identity come out. They can be treated as minors. Now this I hope the media will let people know this law ends the end of the year. So people. It doesn't matter this, how much time has passed. You have this one opportunity where you, where you can come and, and face your attacker. Now, before uh, this law was passed, I, for the last two years, I felt I've had information in my head I couldn't say to anybody because it wasn't my place. But since I can keep the identity of the person, uh, you know, confidential, I came before Ken Mix and the city and, and, and city council members and said the judge you were. Uh, putting up for the, the latest judge position. When this woman was 15 years old, he sexually abused her repeatedly over 20 years ago. She wanted to talk to counsel or whoever. She had or, uh, proof after the fact where she had uh, relayed it to someone else, what had happened to her, the trauma uh, in 2019 before you know, he was even considered for the position. Counsel wouldn't listen. And, and I've had to for ye two years you know we have a pedophile rapist as a judge. And I'm sick of it. I've had my friends and my, this woman too says, you know, he's too powerful, I can't, I can't come against him. Harvey Weinstein was powerful. It doesn't matter if, if, if you know, we, we can't have someone in that position. So in closing, um, you know, I've told you how to build a dog park safely and, and successfully and you won't listen. I've told you that you have a judge that is, is not safe for our, our most vulnerable women and, and I, I've also told you that don't put the skate park down in drug alley, put it up in the park. The park is for the family. Teens are part of the family, even though they don't seem human at the time, they're still part of the family. And everybody needs to have their spot at the park. The dogs, the teens, the kids, everybody. Thank you for your time. 
Uh, just a. Uh, correct the point. Uh, I was on the council in 2008, and we did not pick a spot. And Mr. Hayes did not pick a spot. He gave an area that could have been. Uh, I was on the council in 2007, and the council then didn't pick a spot. So go ahead, sir. Good evening. Uh, my name is Phil Sprague. I